Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making waffle cornbread. Y'all, this is so easy. It's fun to make and it's even more fun to eat. Now I'm just using a cornbread mix. I like Jiffy. You can use whatever mix you like or if you have a favorite cornbread recipe, use that. But today I'm all about simple. Now I've already added my cornbread mix and I got out all the lumps and I put it in a big measuring cup because this is going to make it easier to pour into that waffle iron. Now I like a little bit of jalapeno in my cornbread. Now this is completely optional, but if you are going to add anything to your cornbread, you need to do it before you add your liquid. And this is one chopped jalapeno and I've removed the seeds and the membranes. That just calms this jalapeno down a little bit. Most of your heat is actually in your seeds and your membranes. So this won't add too much heat, but it'll add a whole lot of flavor. I also love cheese in my cornbread, and I've got a half of a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Now, another thing that you could do if you wanted a little bit of kick to your cornbread without the jalapeno, you could add either some pepper jack cheese or just a pinch of cayenne pepper. That would be delicious in this. And I'm stirring this up just to make sure that this cornbread mix gets all over these jalapenos and the cheese. The meal just helps it stay in the cornbread rather than sinking. Now, I'm making this according to my package directions. And the directions say one third cup of milk to one egg. And I like mixing this together before adding it to my cornmeal. And that goes right in. And now all we have to do is stir. This is gonna appear to be a little lumpy you don't mix cornbread very much. You just want it to get nice and wet and get all those ingredients mixed in together. So I'm just stirring it with my fork, no whisk. Use a fork or spoon. And this looks just right. See this consistency? It's nice and thick. Now, I don't have an expensive, large waffle iron. I just have one of those cheap waffle irons, but you know what? It works just as good. And I've been letting this heat on maximum heat for a good five minutes. Cornbread cooks at a high temperature. It cooks at 400 in your oven. So we want this to be screaming hot. Now, I've got a little bit of butter flavored nonstick cooking spray. And I'm just gonna spray the top and the bottom. And now I'm gonna add this. Just two good spoonfuls is gonna fit in this size waffle iron. And down it goes. That sounds so good. Now your light is gonna tell you when this cornbread waffle is ready. But I usually cook it a little bit longer than it says. That way I know that it's done through and through and I like it a little on the brown side and so does Jimmy. My light has turned green and I'm gonna take a chance and lift the lid. Doesn't that look good? And I'll tell you what, it smells fantastic. Let's see how we look on the bottom. Oh, I like that crisp. Just get this off. Look at that beautiful cornbread. Now comes round two. Make sure you spray your waffle iron every single time. Will you look at this one? 
I love how it runs off of the edge. To me, that's one of the best parts on cornbread and the waffle. And look at this. Look how perfectly brown this is and very hot. <laughs> very, very hot. Let me just break some of this apart so you can see. Oh, yum. Now I'm eating some of this cornbread with my slow cooker chili. Look for the recipe in the description. I'll share the video with you. And this is perfect to eat with this slow cooker chili or really any kind of soup. It's perfect for tailgating because you can just pick it up and take it. And I love my chili in a mug. You just dip this cornbread into a little bit of that chili. Mmm, y'all, this is absolutely delicious. You know, when we're cooking that cornbread, most of the time we use the cast iron skillet to do that because we like those crispy, crunchy edges. Well, this waffle iron accomplishes that, but so much quicker and so much easier. These cooked up in a matter of minutes and clean up is going to be a breeze. You've got to try this at your next little gathering. It's just perfect and fluffy and delicious. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Will you press that like button and share this video with your friends? And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me at Kathy Southern Kitchen on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Well, this is going to make a great lunch. And speaking of lunch, my husband just walked through the door. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. It's ready. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Mmm.